Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Yes, it's time to pray. Before we had a short prayer, this collect of the day that collected a couple of thoughts, the theme that goes with the gospel reading and the Old Testament, the epistle and the psalm and the sermon. But now, now we get to pray for everything. Now I know, I know. Sometimes people come up to me, hey, pastor, you pray almost longer than you preach. I'm not sure that's a bad thing. Here, we get to pray for the whole church of God and for all people according to their needs. We pray for the sick, for people in nursing homes, for Christians who are dying. We pray that God would keep natural disasters far away from us. We pray for our schools. We pray for the young and the old and everybody in between. We pray for the government. We pray for all kinds of things. We pray for Christ's church, that she remain faithful. In the prayer of the church, this is the prayer that includes everything and the kitchen sink. It's okay. We might be here a while. The Lord has given us a lot to pray for and a lot to think about. So we do. We don't need to rush through this. It's not a race. The Lord is eager to hear our prayers, and so we can slow down and bring before our loving God and Father all of the things he tells us we should ask for, because all of these requests are things that he asks us to pray for in Scripture, so we do it. So it's okay. Relax. Get comfy. Let's pray. Let's take the time and do it. And do it well, confident that our Lord hears our prayers. Yeah.